So we have three small towns that we are gonna be looking at that are located south of Bangor and west of uh, Mount Desert Island, which are Rockland, Belfast and Ellsworth. So let's get started with Rockland. Okay, Rockland is then a larger area overall than, than the Bar Harbor, but we can see it's it's probably gonna be very different. Here we already have a lot of fishing boats, I assume, all those. Because we saw a very few in um, Bar Harbor, like maybe 10. Here it's probably hundreds. And uh, some larger fishing boats as well, seems like. Around here. Let's take a look at Rockland. A lot of retail going on, so probably also a resort town in the in the summer. Not as wealthy and as uh, popular as Bar Harbor. I want to look at this small park. Oh, a small library. This is yeah, that's pretty nice. Small library, like. Honestly, I'm surprised by what I'm seeing here in, in Maine, like for small, small villages. So that's pretty, pretty good, honestly. Like in, in small villages in Europe, well, this is not a small village, like at least 6,000 people live here. So in Europe, we would have one too, but I, I probably bet you that most small um, cities in America of this size don't have public library kind of guessing here but that's an idea I have that they'd like to make people pay for books rather than borrow them for free so we got a okay we got a new hotel going on here but yeah it looks like this city has much more going on uh, in terms of uh, jobs actual jobs all year round here So here we have golf courses, we, we have two here, not as many as uh, in Bar Harbor. Okay, we also have some well-off people here, not as wealthy as in the other place, but definitely richer than the, the local uh, farmers or fishermen or whatever working at the small manufacturing okay this is not manufacturing but some mining I know some of the small towns here in, in New England have a, a bit of manufacturing left let's take a look at the other town which is Belfast Yeah, it's interesting, the more we get closer to the coast, uh, the less uh, the cities are losing in terms of population, even though we are still pretty far away from everything, but still, the cities be losing less population than, uh, for example, Preskill and uh, Caribou, uh, where we first looked at in the beginning. So this is pretty logical in terms of uh, what we've seen as um, demographic trends in the US and overall in the world. People love to buy houses and live closer to the coast and uh, are running away from small towns inside of uh, the country. Let's get back where we, where we were. Looking at Belfast. Okay. Interesting, interesting small town. With a lot going on. Yeah, the streets are very narrow here. You you know that the city has not changed for centuries when it's like this. Bike path. That's uh, that's surprising. A small American city, but pretty good to see. I like the small uh, 
the small buildings. It's very makes me almost think about like uh, Belgium. You probably look quite similar. Okay, now we're getting down to the harbor with a small, okay, this is very good, small pedestrian alley here. This is very nice. I'm wondering if it's, no, it's not continuing, unfortunately. They have a ring road for a small city, that's surprising. But uh, yeah, it's surprising, but it's... It's pretty good for an American city since um, there will always be a lot of cars so it's good that they um, they made them go outside the small small town so that it's free of, uh, of cars and people can uh, enjoy the streets more. Okay let's look at the, the city we were looking at to begin with. Which is Ellsworth. So it is more of a traditional small town with a lot of um, big retail. Why are those roads so wide? That's not normal. Like, why do you need to make a five freaking five lane single direction road in a small like seven thousand people village? Doesn't add up. Okay, so we got many services here, in comparison to the other small towns we've seen. Yeah, I believe that's like the, the central town for this whole eastern part of Maine. Like, the, of course the bigger town is will be Bangor, but then outside of Bangor, for this whole uh, coastal area, Ellsworth is the main city. So that's why it gets a lot of services. Yeah, so here we have the town of Ellsworth. Take a look at the actual old town. I think it's gonna be maybe a bit less lively than the coastal cities we've seen. Yeah, we still have many small retail. Okay, some old cinema going on here, I believe. Grand something. Maybe a theater that's interesting, like 30s look, typical. 20s or 30s, I believe. There's some nice mansions outside. Probably a, a town that was pretty, maybe not rich, but doing pretty well in the beginning of the 20th century. Don't know if there's much to see else here. Okay, maybe we're going to find the shell areas here. Okay, so now it's basically all services around here. In other words, the three cities were all three pretty similar, although the two first cities we've been looking at might have been struggling a bit in the past, Rockland and uh, Belfast because they were like little manufacturing and fishing towns but now they are doing pretty well as we can see with their median household incomes and uh, Ellsworth has uh, well has been uh, pretty wealthy in fact for over a century since it's a shipping hub and retail hub well now it's um, maybe less rich than it was in the past because it's mostly small uh, services and uh, big chain uh, retail so it's not very uh, well paying job I, jobs I'd say but it's still looking pretty well with big mansions and nice architecture well kept. So overall, it was interesting to look at small towns here in coastal Maine, outside of the uh, very wealthy area that is Mount Desert Island and the Bar Harbor. So thanks for watching and see you soon.